Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. I'm Tristan. Now today we're gonna look at two questions from TOEIC Reading that probably 50% of students get incorrect. So what we're gonna do is learn how to handle these questions and not make these mistakes. All right, before we start, please subscribe, like, share. You know the routine. All right, let's get started with the first question. So here's the first question. Now, what I would like you to do is take your time and you can pause the screen and decide what you think the answer is. Okay, so let's look at this question now. How do we get the answer? It says the meeting will in about 10 minutes and then we can get back to work. If anyone has questions, please ask them now. All right, so here's a tip. Often, if it looks too easy, it is too easy. It doesn't mean it's wrong, but if a question looks very easy, take your time and look at everything around it. Okay, so let's go over the answers that most people choose. Most people choose A, C, or D. So let's look at C first. So we're going to start with C, where it says break up. Now, break up has three meanings. The first meaning maybe you've heard is a couple breaks up or two people who are dating breaks up. For example, Min and Diana broke up last year because Diana spent too much time playing volleyball and Min wanted her to spend more time with him. Uh, poor Min gets jealous of volleyball. Now, in this situation, Min and Diana broke up. So their relationship is over. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. We don't know whose decision it was. Then, example two, if I said David broke up with Manuel, here it was David's decision. So David dumped Manuel. David broke up. It was his decision. So that's one meaning of break up. Another meaning is when we talk about a class or a group and it breaks up into smaller groups. For example, as a teacher, I often tell my class, okay, break up into groups of three and answer this question. So to break up is to separate into smaller groups. A bigger group separates. Finally, number three, break up, you might see it in the news when they're talking about breaking up a big company. And this is a government's decision to break up a company or organization that the government thinks has too much power. For example, some people say that Google is too powerful and governments should break it up into smaller companies, okay? Or maybe you said the police are trying to break up this organized crime ring, so separate it, make it smaller. So if we said we will, the meeting will break up into 10 minutes, it's very strange because the meeting will be separated. What, what's going to happen? So break up just doesn't make sense here. So then we go to the next term and let's look at um, A, finish out. Now, the thing about finish out is finish out is not a phrasal verb finish out really doesn't mean anything. Now, if you say, I will finish this meeting in 10 minutes, that's fine. You can also say, let's finish up this meeting in 10 minutes. That's fine. But finish out doesn't have any meaning. It is not a phrasal verb. So the answer here is wrap up. And what does wrap up mean? Well, wrap up is a phrasal verb that has two meanings the most common way is to take a present or a gift and to put it in the wrapper so you wrap it up or you could just say i wrap it so here's an example she wrapped the present she wrapped up the present or maybe you go to a restaurant and you only ate half your sandwich and you say oh could you wrap up the rest of the sandwich. The other meaning of wrap up, and this is why we have the answer, is to finish an event or to complete a meeting, phone call, etc. But you're finishing an event. 
So we look at this example and this person says, I thought the meeting would end at six, but it actually wrapped up at 9 p.m. Oh, that's the worst. Don't you hate that? When meetings wrap up so late, when meetings finish so late, or if we look at the Olympics, the Olympics will start on July 23rd and wrap up on August 8th. So the Olympics will be over on August 8th. All right, so once again, to get this answer, we can see that it is definitely not A because finish out doesn't mean anything. Clean up, we know that doesn't make any sense. If we look at C, break up, well, the meeting will break up. Well, they're not a couple and we're not going to break up into groups. So it's not C. And the best answer is wrap up D, which means finish. All right, so that's the first difficult TOEIC question.